This week's Times West Virginian Game of the Week features the East Fairmont Bees softball team hosting the Philip Barber Colts. To start the game, Philip Barber's Cameron Klein would get on base with a hit off the fence in right field, making it to third and scoring after a bad throw to the plate. The Bees would answer, though, in the bottom of the first. After McKinley Ashcraft would get on, Sydney Postal Weight would hit it to the outfield, and an error would allow Ashcraft to score. Postal Weight would come across the plate after Cassidy Toothman would find a hole in the outfield. More hits from the Bees. Olivia Conaway would get on, along with Michaela Heater and Megan McMillan. With bases loaded, Sailor Atha would hit a double score in two. Later in the lineup, batting for the second time this inning, East Fairmont's Hannah Farrell would grab two RBIs with a single. After one inning, East would be up 7-1. to one. In the second, the Colts would gain ground. With one out, Kayla Smith would get on base with a hit up the middle. She would later score on a passed ball. With two outs, Faith Klein would hit one past the shortstop, allowing two to score. 4-7, East Fairmont going into the bottom of the second. The Bees would add one more to the board. Postal Weight would have one drop off the glove of the right fielder and would be hit in later by Heater. 8-4, East Fairmont after two. The Bees would further their lead in the third. With Farrell and Ashcraft on base, Postal Weight would hit it to right field where it would bounce off another glove and scored both runners. She would be safe at third and would cross the plate after an overthrow to first on the next batter. Toothman would be safe at first. Conaway would bring Toothman in at the next at bat with a single to right. East Fairmont would be up 12 to 4 going into the fourth. The Colts would continue to fight back with both Kleins on base. Hallie Colleen would hit both runners in. Colleen would score on the next batter. Good defense from the Colts would keep the Bees scoreless in the fourth. 12 to 7 East Fairmont. But in the fifth, East Fairmont would play good D themselves with a 4 to 3 ground out and a 5-3 ground out following with an out after forcing a rundown. At the plate, the Bees would add two more after Conway would hit Toothman and herself in with a home run. 14-7 East Fairmont going into the sixth inning. Two singles would put runners on base for the Colts, and later with bases loaded, Smith would hit two in with a double. She would later score, keeping Philip Barber within three, but the Bees would continue to stretch their lead, with Farrell getting on base with a single and Ashcraft and Pulsoid both walking, Toothman would hit the ball up the middle, scoring Farrell and Ashcraft. Going into the seventh, East Fairmont would lead 17-11. to The Bees would play good defense again, capturing the win with the final score, East Fairmont 17, Philip Barber 11. Tune in next week for the Times-West Virginian Game of the Week.